going to go through a few client examples, some things that um, I didn't necessarily help them. Um, these are things they brought to the table and they were kind of already using some of these concepts. And I was just very impressed by this. And, and I saw this really work for them and really help their mission. So I'm going to just briefly show some of these examples and then I'll hand it over to Camille and she can really get into the, the nitty gritty of this stuff. Um, so this one organization I worked with is called Housing First Minnesota. It's kind of very interesting. They are a um, more of a industry organization. They have this foundation that's a nonprofit that basically takes dilapidated properties or builds new properties and they build a place for people to live uh, for free and for a short period of time, six months, a year, maybe two years, but they focus on kind of veterans and what they're trying in, uh, in families who don't have stable homes. And so what they're trying to do is provide this great stable environment and really nice home so people can get on back on their feet, right? And then they can, you know, um, get jobs and get a better place and kind of, um, you know, get back on their feet. So I worked with them on a virtual event and, and they pretty much, uh, I produced this event, but they, the content was all them. And they, it was very clear they had this culture of sort of ambassadorship baked into the organization. And it was really interesting. This was a very top down. So what you're seeing here is you're seeing past foundation presidents speak at their virtual event. And so at this virtual event, they literally had every single past president there as an ambassador really pushing the mission. So what, what this showed people was that even people not connected and in the organization anymore were still incredibly passionate about the mission. And they also had a very specific piece of outreach they did. They each said, um, you know, I'm donating tonight, right? This was um, a virtual event. Primary purpose is, is raising funds for most nonprofits, virtual events. That's a big part of it. And so this is very powerful. It's very powerful to see these people, all of them past presidents, all still connected to the mission and all saying, you know, this is important. We should support this and I'm giving money as well. So I thought that was really cool. Um, mm -hmm. And it goes a long way as being kind of a more industry organization. Uh, these people are very active in the building industry and in their own companies. And so it's a really unique kind of almost B2B uh, mission ambassadorship, which I thought was very cool. And another thing that's totally different, this is a totally different angle. Um, this is another uh, nonprofit client of mine, uh, Emma Norton Services. So Emma Norton Services provides homes, uh, a stable living and some services, a bunch of services uh, for women who are either you know, women and sometimes their families if they're struggling from um, mental health issues or addiction issues. So another organization that kind of deals with housing, but a lot of more, a lot more services as well. So this person here, Tanana, is a program participant. So she's someone that this organization has helped tremendously, I mean, completely transformed her life. So she is in a, a mission ambassador in a way. What she's doing is she's, they've done professional photo shoots with her. I've done video shoots with her. She speaks at their live events, uh, at in-person things, sort of community outreach type stuff. She's been in several virtual events. Um, and some live events too, actually on stage. So, uh, so the the big thing that this organization um, really help uh, really needs like help with is is trust, right? So, these are very vulnerable women who usually have a lot of trauma. They've had a lot of things happen to them in their lives, and the the struggle with this organization is sometimes people don't trust Emma Norton that they really will do what they say, or they think it's a scam, or or they they just can't imagine that there's this organization that wants to help them as much as they do, right? So Tanana actually kind of tack as an ambassador tackles that issue specifically. She does talk about when I first talked to Emma Norton, I thought, is this a scam? Why are they calling me? Why are they reaching out to help? This can't be true. There's no way they're going to provide a place to live and all this stuff, but it's totally true. And they do this amazing work. And so this is another kind of unique thing that I saw one of my clients doing that I thought was amazing. Um, this person is a great ambassador in, in that specific issue of trust. Uh, and she's something she can tackle because she's been there and she's very authentic. So she's actually brought in other family and other friends and really helped uh, spread the mission of Emma Norton. One last example, uh, and this is kind of much farther out there. Um, 
This is, um, I did a, some other work for two organizations who happen to be very lucky to be connected to kind of A-list people, right? Um, ambassadors for their mission that are really well-known. Um, you don't get that much more well-known than Shaquille O'Neal and uh, Jane Fonda. So um, Jane Fonda is, is a big advocate and she does a lot of stuff for like Greenpeace and you can see her on Facebook. She does something called uh, Fire Drill Fridays, which is becoming kind of a big popular thing now. Um, but she also helped out this very small uh, nonprofit client of mine, Tosh, which um, deals with wor workplace safety. So during COVID, frontline workers under tremendous stress, a lot of them dying, and they needed a lot of support and services. And so this was something Jane Fonda was passionate about. So we worked with her, help integrate her into that virtual event. Uh, and it was a pretty big draw, I think, for that. And she's passionate about this issue. And then Kids and Neen Foundation, which is not a huge nonprofit, but does a lot of amazing work, um, has been connected actually to Shaquille O'Neal for a long time. Um, and he has a similar kind of nonprofit, right? Um, that deals with education. So this is a virtual event I produced and he was on the panel speaking about uh, the achievement gap. Um, and not only is he well known, but not many people know this, um, Shaquille O'Neal actually has a PhD uh, in education. Uh, and he also has his own foundation. So he is uh, not only, of course, famous, he can kind of be a draw as an ambassador, but he really knows what he's talking about. So these are just some examples I wanted to go through of, of clients who are kind of already bringing some of these concepts uh, to the table. And